Good morning, my Capricorns. Happy Earth Sign Day. Hope you guys are having a great start to your week and let's get your messages out here. I have, uh, uh, what is it? Ethro, <laughs> I was gonna say a different deck name. I have Ethro Visions for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have a Page of Cups Reverse and a Nine of Wands. I have to ask, are some of you dealing with an Aries, but I could not get Aries out of my head for some reason. Um, I had to shut reshuffle a couple times to get into the Capricorn. Aries was taking such a strong hold for some, it's weird, so weird. So, okay, Page of Cups Reverse and a Nine of Wands, and maybe if you were dealing with an Aries, and it's not going, if it's not here anymore, I feel like there's an Aries holding on to a Capricorn. Feel that really strongly. Um, just on the side for, for whoever out there needs to hear that. Yeah, Page of Cups Reverse is a lack of hope. It's feeling sad. There's a lack of talking back and forth or communication. And Nine of Wands is holding out hope, honestly. Somebody doesn't want to give up. They don't want to give up, even if there's like no hope left. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you are a Capricorn, know a Capricorn, feel like being a Capricorn. Uh, Cappies, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Capricorn and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It could resonate as the main story. And Capricorn could be the cross watcher. This reading could be for Capricorn or about a Capricorn. Take it as it resonates. Let's see. All right, Cappies. General energy for the Capricorns. Collect the messages. Collect the messages for the Capricorns. Ooh, Six of Swords. Moved on. Energetically moved on. It could be traveling too. Air Aquarian energy. What's influencing the Six of Swords for Cappies? What's influencing the Six of Swords for the Cappies? The Magician. Ooh, Capricorn. Holy moly. That's Virgo, Gemini energy, and Aquarius. Six of Swords is clarity moving forward. Uh, looking forward to your life, you know? Looking forward to what tomorrow brings. The Magician is very, it's a major manifester. It's somebody who's not letting opportunities go. It's somebody who's creating opportunities. You're not waiting for something to complete you and make you happy. You are doing that. Reason for the reading? It almost feels like you're going towards this energy. It just, it's very powerful. Going towards that energy is what it feels like. Reason for the reading? Reason for the reading for, for Cappies. Reason for the reading. What's the reason for the reading? The hangman, Piscean energy, feeling, it could be feeling tied to something, but it's all about a perspective happening, holding back. What is, what's in the past? What's in the past? Could be somebody else too. Somebody's waiting to hear from you, see what you're gonna do. What's in the past? The strength. Holy cow, three out of four majors are here. In the Six of Swords, because of these major events, I feel like you're going towards it. I mean, that's what it feels like. Hangman was maybe you've given something a lot of thought. The strength, wow. I'm sorry, Capricorn, I'm just like blown away by your reading right now. What is on Cappy's mind? What is on the Cappy's mind? Ten of Wands reverse. I'm feeling it. And the sun dropping something and going towards happiness. There you are. Devil reverse in the death card. More majors. Why not? And a king of cups. Something's making you feel powerful. You know what I mean? Uh, you're trusting yourself. You like yourself in this energy, around this energy. Um, somebody's giving you, lending you strength, especially if you've been in something that's been really difficult, you know? And I think you, with the hangman reason for the reading, and the Ten of Wands reverse, I feel like you are deliberating in your own head. Should I go towards it? Should I move? Should I leave this behind? Um, I feel like you are. King of Cups, Ace of Wands. I mean, this is crazy, these cards. Devil reverse is letting something go. It's so residual, I will say this. Even if it's something currently, let's say if it's a job currently or a connection currently or an apartment currently, whatever it is, it's so residual, it's almost not even here. The only way I'm seeing it here is a devil reverse, and it's your major. 
I feel like this is you no longer holding back and holding on to something that doesn't serve you anymore. You got a new opportunity, you got an offer, somebody painted a picture of how happy you could be and you're like, I'm gone. That's what it feels like. All right, what's in the near future for Capricorn? What's in the near future for the Capricorn? What's in the near future for the Cappies? What's in the near future for the Capricorns? What's in the near future for the Capricorns? What's in the near future for the Capricorns? I, I, Capricorns, like, it doesn't even matter. I, I just, I'm, you guys are just so sure about where, where you're going and what you want. There's no talking you out of this. There's just no talking you out of it. That's what I feel. Probably the, the title of your reading. What's in the near future for Capricorn? I feel like it's already up here. King of Cups, Ace of Wands, the Death card, the Sun card. You can't ask for better. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? It could be the Nine of Wands. Ooh, that scared me. There it is. Thank goodness we're done with this deck, right? Because a lot of it went to Ten of Swords showed itself, Eight of Swords, King of Swords. Yeah, you made up your mind. You made up your mind. There's no, it is so hard to talk a King of Swords out of what, whatever they have going on in their head. Aquarius, Aquarius, are you going towards an Aquarius? Um, did this start in Aquarius? There's, there's a full energy going on here. There's a star energy going on here. There's, I don't need to know what my future looks like. I just know that in this moment, I have to have this. I need to go towards it. And there's no talking me out of it. I do feel like somebody, nine of wands and three of swords is hurt or holding on to you. But again, that is so rigid, residual that I can't even like do much with it in this reading because you have completely overpowered it with your own energy which is a good thing. Six of Swords influenced by the Magician. Six of Swords influenced by the Magician. Why the Six of Swords? Aquarian energy here. Why the Six of Swords for Capricorns? Why the Six of Swords for Capricorns? Ace of Cups reverse and the Star reverse. There's nothing left where you are. Six of Pentacles re reverse. There's the Fool. Look at that. Six of Pentacles reverse and the Fool. I feel like you're letting something go. You're just letting something go. There's the death card, the fool, the seven of swords, and leaving us, leaving, I don't know, you're leaving something big behind. Ace of cups reverse and the star reverses. I just don't have any more feeling for this. I can't do this anymore. I don't see anything good happening anymore. And I don't think you're trying to be an asshole or a bitch. I just think you're being truthful. Why give somebody false hope? What, what's the magician about? the magician why the magician here and the hierophant Ooh, it's a new job or relationship most definitely what is the hangman reason for the reading ace of swords and the empress wow ace of swords is when is is a new beginning right this ace of swords is cutting you free from something you've been stuck in for a long time i'm just saying empress uh, ace of wands you see yourself here in the present in the future in the quadruple future whatever it is in multiple lifetimes this is where you are which is why you have no worry about making that decision nine of swords reverse it's just a yeah all right what's the strength in the past i almost feel like the strength and the hangman are going hand in hand i feel like you held on to something that didn't serve you but you did it for somebody else but when this came in, you just couldn't, you couldn't do it anymore. The strength in the past, 10 of pentacles reversed the 10 of cups. Yeah. Nine of cups reversed in the four of swords. I really feel to keep the peace, even though you were unhappy, um, 10 of cups almost feels like an illusion. To be honest, queen of cups reverse is very unhappy, but I feel like you bit your tongue. You, you played a role for somebody else, for a family. But a Ten of Pentacles reverse is, it's, it feels like a divorce, honestly, or a breakaway. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Wands reverse on your mind. Tens talk about an ending. We've seen the Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Wands reverse. 
we've seen the Ten of Cups upright. I feel like you sacrificed a lot of yourself for somebody else in the past. Ten of Wands reverse. Why is that on your mind? And the judgment. Yep. Judgment is when you know something came into your life to wake you up and said, Capricorn, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you sacrificing your own happiness for the sake of somebody? I'm not talking kids here. I'm not. I mean, we all have that, right? But I'm talking about a, a relationship that you felt like you've maybe felt dead inside or you haven't felt alive in a long time. And it's really hard when something comes into your life and wakes you up, you can't go back to sleep. And remember, we did have the four of swords. It's almost asleep and in this energy because that was the only way to get by is to not try to be, to try not think about it. So the judgment comes in and says, hey, it brought with an ace of wands, the sun, the king of cups, and the death card, a change, a rebirth. And what, what is a Capricorn to do? A devil reverse. You're waking up. You're finally waking up to love, to this opportunity. Okay, tell me about the king of swords in the near future, Aquarian energy. What's the king of swords in the near future? Almost feels like you're going towards an Aquarius and leaving an Aries. That's what it feels like. What is the king of swords in the near future? King of swords in the near future. I just don't think anyone could talk you out of this. It's so good. King of swords, king of swords in the near future for Cappies. Yep, seven of swords reverse. There's no talking you out of it. Both Aquarius. You know what you want. Very, you have your mind made up. Seven of swords reverse, king of swords. And the full reverse. Aquarian energy. I will say if you are dealing with an Aquarius or if that other person, or the whole energy could be Aquarius, honestly. The other person you're connected to might have doubt that you're actually going to leave this behind. I'll be honest, this feels like a marriage going into a new relationship. That that third party is worried that you won't. That I'm just saying. Seven of Swords reverse that you're not going to be able to, to get out freely from this. That you're going to go back. That's what I'm kind of feeling here. What is Capricorn? What's, what's going to happen between them? The Six of Swords reverse. What is it? And the Four of Pentacles. That's your card. Four of Pentacles. If you have kids, Capricorn, Four of Pentacles is doing your part, right? You're still holding on. You are focused. It's interesting because there's a spider with this Four of Pentacles. It's interesting they put a four a spider with a four of pentacles. I feel like you're out of the lair, you're out of the web, but you're not abandoning all responsibility. If you owe money, you're gonna pay the money. If you're, it's not, you know, you're not trying to be an asshole about it, but the four of pentacles is holding on to who you are, not letting that go. You're not giving in this time. I almost wanna say, if this isn't the future person, this still might be the past person. So full reverse and a six of swords reverse there. I feel like this is a person who's going to have a hard time letting you go. They might make you a bad guy or girl for a while, but you, you know what you want. I'm not getting guilt here. It's kind of like, I think you're just making a very difficult call and a four of pentacles is holding on to your energy. Now in the past, it was about them in the future. It's about you. And if you're going to be a bad person for it, then you're a bad person in their eyes, but it's not going to change what you're going to decide to do. That's what it feels like. Um, strength reverse, temperance reverse, three of wands reverse. Yeah, that's what I feel, Capricorn. I really feel that. I do feel like you have someone really holding on to you. Maybe this was your story a long time ago, and that person is still holding on to you. If that's the case, I do feel like another, another pivot up. So you've already gotten out of this because not all Capricorns are going through the same thing at the same time. So you're, you already got out of whatever this relationship is. You're already in that new relationship. I feel like you guys are going to move next. That's what it feels like. <coughs> it's kind of like it just gets better. That's what I want to say. It just keeps getting better. 
Um, but not for everybody. That's why I don't want to make that the title because that's very hurtful. Because there is somebody still holding on that's still hurt no matter how many years have gone by. And it's not that you want to see them hurt, but you, it's about you, you know? So that's what, it, that's what it feels like. I feel like I need to be really sensitive in this reading about all parties because there is definitely a party who doesn't deserve to be hurt, but yet they are hurt. But at the same time, logically, you can't sacrifice yourself over somebody else's happiness anymore. You can't. So, all right, my dear, have a great rest of your week, Cappies, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.